Shut up. Mom, you're unmute. You're unmute. Mom, Sean? You're unmute. You're unmute. Trees are. Mm -hmm. That's only because they need the sign. The signs. Don't protect the children. What if they don't? What if they don't? They might. Attack us! What? Don't burn me or sold out the bridge, please. You know how to make that sound. You're just a baby! You're just a baby! You're just a baby!
Bitch, where are you going? Oh, I'm not a Lost in the goddamn woods. Shark! Look, look! I just heard him see your dad! Come in! Come in. Mommy shouldn't bring the brother with him. I have to. Why? Why, Mom? Too bad your mom is a professional at this type of shit. This is the type of game she likes to play, not me. I just play them with her because that's the time we can spend time with her. Because 
Watch out! Watch out! It's not. It's not. You think, you think zombie, zombie versus, versus teenager, teenager is there? there? Oh, got a campsite. She would have grabbed that soda now. Trees around you, dude. What you mean? Hey, 
Daddy. Hey, Dad. Yeah, baby. Hey, Dad. Hey. Yeah. Go for them. Go. I was gonna look for a They said yes. I'm 
Indeed. Indeed. Okay. Okay. Some good as she broke out, huh? Wait, wait, I'm coming. I'm coming. Look at his face, babe. to your brother. Why are you coming over fucking with it? Put it down. Mm. 
Nom 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 nom. Sweets, man. You're not gonna sit there and chow down everybody piece that they've left up there. I'm occupied. Instead of on your nerves. Give you something to do. Right, let me, uh, uh, 
was so happy to score. You wish. Stupid phone. Oh. 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 O
Yes. So, what's her name? I did. You're right. Does he have fucking like amnesia? Go back to sleep. You need your rest. rest. I might have another scary dream. You won't. You won't. I'm here. Just, just, just close, just your, close eyes. your eyes. I'm trying to I'm glad you're here. Good night, good night, dear. I should look for some Epsom salt when I was at the uh, Dallas store. And then what do you think it is? You know, I, I literally feel like, ah, yeah, I'm getting sick. Or, like, you know, when you're shaking, your back is like very sensitive to the touch. That's what kind of hurt it feels like. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, when you're shaking, your back is like very sensitive to the touch. That's what kind of hurt it feels like. Let's walk in. Ow! We can buy you my food. That's what you said. Oh, oh. Remember that time? Remember that they're, they're walking again. again. We didn't know what Trinity and James were Harry. But he didn't, but he didn't like, like us. He said he was going to get us after school. school. What did you, what did you do? do? We waited, we waited in the gym until he went for it. That's it? Yeah. You should have told me. I tried. But well, you, well, said, you said, said to get out of your room. <sighs> I told you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Some yeah. shit you did bad. You should have listened. You did, you did stand, up stand up for me. With Brett. With Brett. For a change. change. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, he had it yeah. coming. Yeah. I kind of wish you weren't so mean. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, there's something, there's something ahead. Yeah. yeah. Must be the, Must gas, be the gas station. We saw on that sign. It stopped running. You can hit R2. It's awesome. R2. I'm so, I'm so hungry for real thing right now. I'm playing with one hand, babe. Uh huh. We gotta get food, uh, water, water, and plus a map. You got 13 plus a map. Alright. Hey, come on. Hey, come on. I know last night was tough, but tonight, tonight will be better. You do tell. You're a, You're a long, long way from home, dude. Hey, hey come on. I know last night was tough, but tonight, tonight will be better. better. You do tell. You're a long way from home, dude. Hey, come on. I know last night was tough, but tonight, tonight will be better. I swear. I swear. No thanks. 
Unsteal it. What is it? Bread, five dollars and ninety cents. Soda? What the fuck? I'm about to steal a bunch of shit then. Oh, 
can't even cook it. You can. Put it right in the can. So should I buy it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's get this Let's get the plot. Danny, Danny will start, start this down. down. Are you still in? Still? Oh no, it's in my cart. I'm about to say, damn, are you still still in? Oh, and I gotta get a drink. <laughs> I can't feel a tent. <laughs> you can buy that stuff and then try to steal it. Just saying. Oh, a sleeping bag. How about that? Mom, you got a T-shirt. Oh, I need to steal a bunch of shit. And my phone. No. A puppy. Bye bye. What's your, What's your name, name, huh? You're so cute. No. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's dog. a dog. Oh, a puppy. I know you're fresh. Super, Super cute, cute dog. dog. You ready? You ready? Is this yours? Is no. no. Just, Just another no. straight look. No. Oh, it's so sad. No. What's his name? That's a <laughs> Oh. Hey. Can we have the book? Let me think. I don't know. She's pretty huge responsibility. Yeah. This is so cool. Oh, we need adults to take care of her. Not kids. I know. I just thought we could. Stop throwing pillows on the fucking ground. I love you. I have. She's right. She's right. We can't we take care of the dog right now. <laughs> so buy this stuff and then steal that stuff? That's what I would do. Looks like, Looks like you're all set to go. go. Is, that, Is it? that it? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Think so. Oh, oh you did. Did. Let's, Let's bring you, bring you up. up. And there's, and there's the damage. The damage. I think I don't need one. What? I? What else do we have? Okay, got it. That's the grand total. Is she laughing at us? Yeah, guys, that's fine. I think that's it. Oh, yeah, it's her book. Thanks so much. I want to get one of those. All right, here's your change. Cool. cool. Thanks. Thanks. She was, she was so cute. No, it might be. No. No, no, no. Like that. no. Should I steal, steal a sweater? Can I even steal it? Why do you think it's so exciting to see a gas station? Hey, if you're gonna steal something, at least steal something that you're gonna need. Uh, no, I can only look. Can I, can I steal it? I don't know. No, no, you can steal something. Why? You can buy one of those. Yeah. Oh, my God. Hey, come here. 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 Come here.
That is awesome, awesome. I mean, I mean bear. bear. So, so cool. Get out, Legend. We have a surf. Ah! Yeah. Really? Oh, oh thank, thank you. you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. Ah! Yeah. Go on. Go on. Thanks. Thanks. It's, it's a real, real nice map. Nice ah! You'll find Legend, that is a around here. Fuck, boy. Oh, you need to lay the fuck down. It's weird. Stop. Stop. Check the 18. Check the 18. You wanna play? Hey, man. Hey, man. Check this, check this out. out. Let me get in the cell. What, you didn't want to try it? Here we go. Here we go. What the fuck? It was like over the ball. Alright, that's it, dude. Don't, don't back. Get that. Get that prize. Just watch it. Good job, dude. Almost. Almost. Yes. You're my power bear. Bet your bet you're the first one to get its eyes out of here. Oh, was that on Netflix, right? Yeah. I, 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 I
Cheyenne, calm down. Matt Hilly had a roommate. I'm making this you know, any other time people be posting spoilers and shit on Facebook, she'll be the first one to comment, bitching them out. Talking about everybody ain't get a chance to watch it yet. But then when motherfucker did that to her, she was like, well, we all seen it coming. Bitch, but we didn't all see it. I know. You didn't see the cursor moving? Now where are you? Did we watch this? Yeah. Yeah, because I thought she left for some shit, right? She did. So this is where you're at. No! No! Fuck a no! Fuck no! I am not telling you what happened last season on Shameless! I think I might be gay. Where's well, this coming from? Is this because you're a welder now? No. I've just been feeling ways that I've never felt before. Is Liam back from church yet? Yeah. Where is he? In his room. His room? Yeah, I've noticed that you're black. Your point? That you have never made any attempt to surround me with my own cultural and racial heritage. What's this? My list of demands. Once you're ready for I'll consider coming home. I didn't make it past the first round of cuts for West Point. You're going back to skate. Yeah. Uh, yes, you are, Carl. I'm a loser, Debbie. So, are you done being a pussy? I'm ready to get back to the man that I love? Oh, shit. You guys invited Jabby? I was hoping you'd be here. I've been having a lot of really great sex recently. Yes. Let's go bang one out. Get my average back on the shitter where it belongs. Yeah, you know, I could use some fresh puke on my shoes, so good. <laughs> I'm pregnant. You sure it's mine? Yeah, I'm sure it's yours. If you decide to have this baby, I want to make damn sure it has a father. Anybody want a hot pizza ass? Fix your eyes, boys. You can look, but you can't touch. What's that, Jesus? And I'm thinking maybe it's time for me to go. You should go. What? You should get the fuck out. You deserve it. You should go as far away as you can. A check for $50,000. Love you. Yeah, she does.
if I got the seven, it's my bad two time. Hurry the deal with me for me to come live in this crack of it. Frank, where's your pants? need to be kept clear of clutter to allow for safe egress in the event of fire. Can you get out of the kitchen, Frank? Hey, shoo! No pants, Frank. Hey, good morning, Debbie. Hi. Who are you supposed to be today? Frederick Douglass. Liam, sausage and eggs. Grab a plate. I'm gonna eat the white man's swine. Huh? Pork. I like swine. Hey! Only kids under 12 eat for free. Everybody else pays. Farhad's letting me borrow his car on Saturday to go visit Ian. Oh, yeah? Yeah, if any of you guys want to tag along, Franny and I are going to leave at 8 a.m. sharp. Yeah, we're in. Me too. Cool. Frank? What? Down to visit Ian? No one ran a load. Okay, listen up, people. For the last time, I'm not the owner. I've got my own kid to raise. If you want to do your laundry, do it yourself. It's right there. You don't want breakfast, Liam? Fine. I gotta get to work. Yeah. Yeah. I love you so much. I miss you already. Yeah. Bye, family. Bye. She have a serious head injury or something recently? Uh, the baby hormones making her nice. School? Yep. All right. Let's go. Bye, Dad. Bye.
No insurance talk on beach day. I'm down. Yes, please. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I love my RV, but insuring it is such a hassle. Same with my boat. The insurance bills are through the roof. Be cool. I wish I could group my insurance stuff. Like the house, the car, the RV. Like a cluster. An insurance cluster. Mm. Yeah, I doubt that exists. Shabango! I can find a little save your money! Hi, I'm so progressive! Super fun beach day, everybody. No. I believe the American dream is still alive. In fact, I'll bet a million dollars on it. You, my friend, were labeled a loser, oh, least likely to succeed. No one thought I would have been. Millionaire Glenn Stearns is betting a million dollars he can take a hundred bucks and grow it into a million dollar business in just 90 days. If it's a penny short of a million, I'll put one million dollars into it. But to keep this experiment fair, I'm going to do it all undercover. I won't use my name, my money, or my connections. Win or lose in the city of Erie, and the people who help you get there will be rewarded. But they don't know it. With a million dollars of his own money on the line, Glenn Stearns will see once and for all if the dream is still possible in America. With only 17 days left, undercover billionaire Glenn Stearns is racing towards his million dollar goal. But currently, he only has $12,645. Glenn's only chance at coming close to a million dollars is to earn enough money at a national barbecue competition called Ribfest. Ribfest now becomes really where we can shine. To renovate and fund the opening of his new barbecue restaurant. This is now our new home. What planet do you live on? Now just... Did you watch all that? Mm -hmm. yeah. I watched on a certain level already. Yeah. This is where I'm going to go. The second episode. I remember we watched the first one. If you printed out directions to get here today, you're in the right place. My seminars are a great tool to help young homeowners who are turning into their parents. Now remember, they're not programs, they're TV shows. You woke up early, no one cares. Yes? So I was using something called Home Code Explorer from Progressive to easily compare home insurance rates. Was I hashtagging? Progressive can't help you from becoming your parents, but we can help you compare rates on home insurance with Home Code Explorer. Guess what? The waiter doesn't need to know your name. I believe the American dream is still alive. In fact, I'll bet a million dollars on it. You, my friend, were labeled a loser, least likely to succeed. No one thought I would have been. Billionaire Glenn Stearns is betting a million dollars he can take a hundred bucks and grow it into a million dollar business in just 90 days. If it's a penny short of a million, I'll put one million dollars into it. But to keep this experiment fair, I'm going to do it all undercover. I won't use my name, my money, or my connections. Win or lose in the city of Erie, and the people who help me get there will be rewarded. But they don't know it. With a million dollars of his own money on the line, Glenn Stearns will see once and for all if the dream is still possible in America. In his first week undercover in Erie, Pennsylvania, billionaire Glenn Stearns gave himself a goal of making $3,300 to cover his living expenses for the entire 90 days. I didn't sell one ball. But fell short. These are just too worn. Damn. With just under $415 in his pocket, he's got 82 days left to build a million dollar business. A three dollar count. Let it get out. I feel like crap. I've been sleeping in my truck for over a week and a snowstorm came in last night. I need a roof over my head. I need to make money. I need to get going. <laughs> Oh, I can't 
can't stop throwing up. I'm just scared. Don't know what's wrong with me. Do you want to keep going? First million at 28 years old. The reality is, I'm not in a 28 year old body anymore. I gave myself a goal of raising $3,300 before I get an apartment. But if something's seriously wrong with me, I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep going. The latest, greatest. It doesn't look like you can see anything on my x ray, which is nice. And you know, my blood pressure's back to normal, my fever is gone. So I hope I dodged the bullet. Check me out. Don't have a flu, so put some fluids in me and I should feel a lot better. Probably use food poisoning or, in fact, basically I'm run down. The last thing I need right now is a hospital bill, but I'm happy to pay $250 to know that I'm okay and that I can keep going. You know, I've got to get out of this truck. You, know, you just can't build a business the way I'm living right now. So I've got to get place. I still haven't hit my goal of covering my living expenses for three months, and I don't have any money to get into an apartment. Not only that, but I'm nine days in, and I still have no idea what business I'm going to start. I need my million dollar idea, but I still need to make some money. I've been checking abandoned lots along the rail lines, searching for industrial tires and rod iron to resell. I've had almost every lot out there, but there's a few left to try. Fencing, tires, this is looking a little bit more promising back here. Find your buyer first and work backwards. I know some buyers are willing to pay four to five hundred dollars for industrial tires, so I'm going to continue searching along the rail lines to meet that demand. I just want to look at this tire first. Get a good one right here. Alright. Look at this, man. There we go. It is. It's like a medium lower. I've got these on my ranch. Right on the freaking needles and the haystacks. I can't get any better than this. This one might be good too. Hey, is uh, this Cody? Yeah, it is. I was reading your ad about your tires, and okay. I think, yeah, I think I've got uh, four or five of them that uh, you may be interested in. Okay, perfect. Hey, Cody. Hey, Gwen. Hey. How's How you going? Yeah, not too bad. What do we have here? That might be a little tiny tractor or something. This is like a pickup tire. Is it? Well, that one there is pretty wore down. How's that one looking? This one's really old. Nah, it's a lot of dry rot on this one. Oh, man. Let me tread. See all the dry cracks? Yeah. That's just yeah, that's not pretty good either. I think we'll pass on these two. We're interested in these ones. That's some kind of military tire, right? Yeah. Deuce and a half. This is for like a large loader or a forklift, a log loader. It's got a lot of life in it still. Mm -hmm. What are you looking to get out of? I was thinking about, I don't know, 1800? Uh, with the cuts and stuff, I probably can't go that much. Probably do like 1400? 1400. See, how about we meet? How about 1600? I'll do 15. 15. All right, you got a deal, man. Hey, thanks. A little cash, all right? Cash works great, matter of fact. Almost pretty good. Yeah, yeah it was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, guys. Yeah, thank you. That's exactly what I needed. Okay, I just get beat up, beat up, beat up, working your ass off, and I finally hit the big one. I didn't make my goal, but I've got enough for a place to live. I need to make do with the money I have and keep moving forward. Finally. Early, must be the counter place.
Hi, is this Bob? Is that? Yes, it is. Bob, hi. Uh, my name is Glenn Bryant. Um, listen, I'm looking for a budget-friendly apartment and wanted to know if um, you had anything available. And what's your price range? Well, around $400 a month. Sure. Do you uh, like to take a look at it? I'd be more than happy to set the time. Perfect. Um, I am available anytime. I could come over even right now. Sure. Thank you very much. All right. My pleasure. Bye bye. I am going to find an apartment, at least hunting for one today. When I was first researching living expenses, I budgeted $625 a month for an apartment. But since I didn't hit my first financial goal, I need to come in much lower than that. I'm hoping I can get into an apartment for $400. You know, I'm not expecting to be in a great place, but see what I can afford. I'm going to show you these two apartments up here. This is going to be one of the apartments number nine here. Got a decent sized bathroom, nice storage here as well, tub and shower, and this is going to be uh, 405. Where's the bedroom? This would be your bedroom. This is considered efficiency. This would be your living room and bedroom combined. Think of like this one here, okay. This is going to go into your kitchen. And what's nice about this, you got French doors right, right. here. Nice little fake fireplace. What's this one around? This is going to be about 435 and it's going to include just your water seal and trash. I would need it for a uh, month's security okay. deposit. Do you have any questions? Can I give you my first month's rent and then give you half the deposit in the I first two weeks and half the deposit? I can't do that. I would need a security deposit up front to hold the unit because if I had another client that came in and put down the security deposit right on the spot, money talks. Okay. All right, well, I'll take it. So I ended up with a more expensive apartment, $435 versus $405. But the reality is I'm off the road. I don't have anybody on the side of me. So there are a lot of things that make this one just a much more efficient apartment and just something I can live in for the next, you know, 90 days. There's that for you. It's hard to believe that I would feel so happy to have a place. Perfect. You know, when I'm sitting in my car and having to worry about where I am, it doesn't allow you to think about business or growing anything. You're just in survival mode. So having your own place is such a huge deal. No toilet paper, no bath towels, no soap. Even though it's not the Taj Mahal, it's a place just to call my own. Uh, I've been so used to living a really cush life and now every day figuring out how to make five or ten dollars or how to get a job doing anything finding you know some other person's trash on the side of the road that's worth something um, anyway it's just very humbling experience i am grateful i have a roof over my head right now but i really need to get to a place where i can start to thrive and get my confidence back With my living arrangements set, I now have to figure out what business I'm going to start. I'm running out of time, but I have a plan and I'm hoping this will save me before it's too... Step one, build a workhorse that works harder. Give it a letter. Then, do it all again. Rethink, redefine, rebuild. Gear it for adventure. Make it sleeker, lighter. Make it tough. The toughest ever. And then, make it a hybrid. Because the only ones who can outwork the workhorse are the ones that built it. Be a little bit more that lady T tried the Popeye's chicken sandwich. Have you? This chicken sandwich tastes like somebody's grandma Lucille fried it twice, prayed over it, then sent it up to God, and he swiped right. You won't really get it until you get it. Try it now for three ninety nine. Oh, you know, some people say only old people drink Diet Coke. All right, listen. Old people know what's up. They started the whole resort wear trend that they proudly wear to breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Which, by the way, starts promptly at 4 p.m., completely outsmarting any need for a reservation. 
Maybe they drink Diet Coke because it tastes good. Or maybe they do it because their secret to making it through this life is drinking and doing whatever they want. So listen to your elders. Drink up. Sunshine. Sunshine and big appetites. Walmart helps you bring it to the table for less. Bring the spray. With limited funds, living in his truck became too difficult. So Glenn Stearns rented an apartment. Perfect. Undercover is Glenn Bryant. He now has 80 days left to build a million dollar business. The trick to starting a successful business is to choose something that the market needs and build a great team. Identify a need and fill it. But I also need to do this in less than three months. If I'm going to build a million dollar business, I need to use local resources here in Erie. Hi, hey, Glenn. Hey, how are you? So nice to nice meet, meet you. you. I've heard a lot of great things. Yeah, well, we're excited to have you. So you've decided to be an entrepreneur, and that's exactly what we're here to do is help in these new ventures. Yeah. So Thousands of communities across the country have a small business development center. These centers often have resources for business owners, including consulting, office space, computer access, and research. The best part of the SBDC is that these services are offered for free. This is a shared space we use as classroom, we use as meeting, we use as conference room. So if I were building my team, yep. I could utilize this space? Yes. Okay, great. Um, this is the beehive. All right. All right. The beehive is all around business development, building business plans, feasibility of business ideas, market research, things like that. Uh, we can't run your company for you, right. but we can make sure you're prepared to do it. Yeah, love it. I am absolutely excited. I mean, the SBDC is a wonderful resource. I mean, it's like everything you could ever want to start a business is right there. Appreciate it all. Ladies, yeah. bye-bye. Now I need to figure out what kind of business I'm going to start. I've done my research and got a couple ideas that I'm kicking around in my head. However, I haven't been to Erie. I don't know... You know what's going on in Erie. I don't know what I don't know. So I've set up meetings with a few entrepreneurs to see if they can help me figure out which is the right industry for me. I've warned them that the cameras are going to be following me. The first is Hannah Kirby, who runs a coffee shop, and it's doing quite well. You know, there's a 7% growth in coffee sales, which makes it really the fastest growing segment in the food service industry. Hi, I'm Hannah. Hi, Hannah Glenn. Hi, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice how are you? Too. You know, I have uh, just arrived in Erie. Welcome. Thank you. It's kind of looking maybe to start a business. And I did a little research, and you pop up just about <laughs> everywhere. So, why yeah. coffee? Was was that just a passion? Yeah, it's something I really enjoyed. You know, you look at our downtown district. There's only one chain coffee shop in town and so it's like why is there not a local space so i just felt like the environment and the ecosystem was the right timing so how is your business doing the business is paying for itself we've been here like a year now so it's going yeah it's well <laughs> I do think that Glenn is coming into the city at a great time. We are very focused on growth. You know, people are really rooting for one another because I think we're all rooting for the city. Well, my next stop is Chris Trot. He owns a metal fabrication company. Here he has deep roots in manufacturing. And if you're going to start a business here, it has to be something to consider. Chris, hey, how are hey, you? I'm Glenn, how you doing? Chris, nice to meet hey, you. Yeah, real nice to meet you too. I'm a custom fabricator. We do anything that goes on a truck, so steel, aluminum, stainless. We can build anything mild to wild. This truck, for example, will get the box taken off and everything underneath will be replaced. Uh, we can cut, bend, just about anything, and as we buy more equipment, we can expand our offerings. But uh, the first four years have been extremely difficult, but I think we're on the upside of it, and hopefully next year we'll um, you know, double the business. What do you think's been the hardest part about the last four years? I'd say funds are tough. 
anyone who talks to somebody that owns a business thinks that they're rich. But right. uh, we're really rich for about 10 seconds as one check passes right. and goes to pay another bill. As I continue to build out a team, I'd love to talk to you about more stuff. Anytime. I appreciate this so much. I it's really it. great to meet you. Truth be told, I'm not going to start a metal fabrication company. The amount of startup capital I would need to buy that heavy duty equipment is just cost prohibitive. But man, is Chris talented. So no matter what business I start, I know that I'm going to need someone like him in my court. I'll tell you, a business that's really taking off here in Erie is the craft beer business. It's been growing about 10 to 15 percent a year. So I'm meeting with Chris Seriani, who owns the brewery at Union Station. I'd love to see if that's an industry that's worth getting into. Hey, how, are how are you? you? Hey, 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 nice to meet you. We do about 500 barrels a year. Three days a week, we're back here. <laughs> Making beer, and um, besides our beer, you know, well, 12 or 14 beers on tap, um, we have another 40 bottles from PA Brewers. Oh, really? Back here, we have six, seven barrel fermenters, and whatever we make in two to four weeks is on tap. It's usually gone in another couple of weeks, so very quick turnover, which is uh, a lot of planning down the road, making right. sure that the pipelines are filled and the pints are filled at the bar. In Erie. I think entrepreneurs in general, especially the young entrepreneurs, are all on the same page and working together and collaborating, but the brewers especially. What's the uh, advantage of being so collaborative, do you think? We all the same issues and problems, and a lot of us have the same goals. You know, we're all brewing the same thing, water, yeast, hops, and barley, right? You know, we've done as much as incubate a, a local brewery to help them open up. But as far as somebody that wants to open a business, Erie's the, the right place and the right time now for craft beer. Craft beer looks very promising. These local brewers seem to support one another, and with their help, I can get my product to market very quickly. But I also see the potential in coffee. It can fill the need of a local community and has the potential to compete nationally. I'm going to get in touch with the Small Business Development Center and have them start researching coffee and beer so I can determine what the best business is to start. <laughs> coffee or beer, I'm going to need some serious startup funds to get this business off the ground. The best way that I know to make big money is in real estate. So I want to buy a house to flip it to cover the startup costs for my business. But for now, I need to think on a smaller scale. So my goal for this week is $10,000 for the down payment for the flip house. And the best way to do that is by purchasing assets and then using them to make more money. My idea this time is I want to go to car dealers and I want to see if I can't buy some of their trade-ins. Dealerships take hundreds of cars as trade-ins every week. Some get reconditioned to be sold on the lot, but cars that are older or have high mileage get sold to auto auctions for a fraction of what they're worth. If you can buy these cars from dealers before they send them to auction and turn around and sell them yourself, there's the potential to make a hefty profit. Buy them low, sell them high, and hit my goal of $10,000. I'm going to stop into this dealer. You guys just stay where you are. Car dealers get freaked out when a bunch of cameras show up. How you doing? I got a question for you. Do you guys sell any of your trade-ins? No, I'm sorry. We're in Thanks. He says, we're not selling anything. So it must have gone under. Too bad. I see some dealerships up here. Hey, Greg. Hey, Don. I'm Glenn. Yeah. Just curious. Do you have any cars that you might be sending off to auction that I could purchase here? Let me just check when they are back. Okay. Yeah, okay. We just don't feel comfortable selling, you know, like three or four or five or six thousand dollars. No big deal. Thank you. All right, thanks. All right. Thanks, guys. All right. Uh, that was a bust. I can't believe they're not interested in selling me a car that they're going to take to auction. Hopefully, it's not the case with the other dealers. I can't wait another day to choose the business that I'm going to start. So I'm headed over to the Small Business Development Center to check out the research that I asked them for. Well, I'm excited to delve in and see what you guys have found.
You have a variety of options here. Time is ticking away and it's decision time. This is it. Everybody's invited to have a meal together and the sun is there to eat with your home. Turn on the game and go and grab you. Go and take a mission to the upper deck and win. What we have here is Little Caesar's thin crust. That's a lot of pepperoni. We're just six forty-nine. That can't be right. Little Caesar's is just rubbing that pepperoni right in our faces. The toppings go all the way to the edge. How is that possible? Oh, we can do that. If it wasn't for commercial. <laughs> To prove the American dream is still alive, billionaire Glenn Stearns must choose the right business to build if he's going to reach his goal of a million dollars. Here is the, the right place and the right time now for craft beer. With only 78 days left, he's asked the local business development center to pull market research on his top two picks. Excited to delve in and see what you guys have found. Most people don't have experience deciphering complex charts and figures, so having a resource like the SBDC can help potential business owners learn what they need to be successful. You uh, mentioned the particular industries that you were interested in were breweries and coffee. Uh, we pulled from a number of the resources that we have available, so you have an idea of the competitive landscape as well. What would you say are the pros and cons of these industries? Well, coffee we want every day so when we are looking at the desire or need or want in the community our customers coffee shop that's a very big pro mm -hmm. con is the environment can become convoluted um, because there are so many why don't we do breweries the ibis world report is predicting that it's going to be a higher growth over the next five years and you see, you know, what, what are people drinking? Craft beers is where most of this growth comes from. You know, what I found in this industry, what at least was exciting for me was they're not as opposed to new people coming into their industry. They actually welcome it and they try to help you get started. Yeah, it's a new industry, so um, it makes sense for the players to work together to grow it. A big con, and I guess we need to call it that, are the barriers to entry because you do need licenses and it can take a while to get that done. Equipment costs go along that. With and that, you know, the equipment costs. Right. And the pro is you're in a community that likes their beer and they also like their craft beers. On average, households spend about $100 more on beer away from home than they do on coffee, so beer is maybe more profitable. But right. After hearing all the research, I'm definitely going to open a craft beer business. People are spending money on it, the industry is in continual growth, and it has the potential to scale nationally. Plus, it's a collaborative field, so my plan is to connect with other local breweries to utilize their infrastructure, which will help me with my savings on equipment costs. I know that I can make craft beer a million dollar business. I want to start finding team members, so I would appreciate it if I could um, utilize a computer because I want to put an um, ad out there for sure. recruiting some more people. Absolutely, would love to help you with that. Once you have a direction to head in, one of the most important things you can do is surround yourself with people who can strengthen your weaknesses. I'm going to post an ad online saying that I'm looking to build a team for my brewing business. I want to target people who are passionate about bringing a new local business here to Erie. So I want to hold an open interview. I want to look for an experienced brewer and then someone who can really help with website design. And if I don't have the right team, I've got to figure this out. Now that I've figured out that I want to start a craft brewery, I've got to see what it takes. Chris Siriani from Union Station Brewery put me in touch with a local brewer named Brian Sprague who's going to show me the ropes. Hopefully, I'm not in over my head. What's vital when you go into business is making sure that you know all aspects of the business. That means know your That's why I'm going to learn more about the brewing process today. I want to know what I'm talking about when I speak to people about the craft beer business. Hey, Brian? Yeah. Brian, how you doing? Um, we're going to make a 
some beer today. We're going to mash in, and you're going to help these guys mash in. Perfect. Okay. While there are many different styles of beer, there are four key steps to brewing. First is mashing. Malted grains are steeped in hot water, which activates enzymes that cause it to break down and releases sugars. The liquid drained from that mash is called wort, which is basically unmade beer, similar to how dough is unmade bread. So this is basically sugar water at this point. Yep. Second is boiling. The wort gets boiled while hops and other spices are added for flavor. So that's more of the flavor. That's kind of the hops. Oh, it's a bittering agent. It's a preservative. Next is fermentation. The wort goes into a fermenting vessel where yeast gets added. It's stored for a couple of weeks while the yeast eats up all the sugars, turning them into alcohol and carbon dioxide. And finally, the beer gets kegged or bottled, and then enjoy. There's so much more you get out of it once you see what's put into making a batch of beer. A little more involved than a lot of people think, I guess. Yeah, I'd love to know some of the pitfalls, some of the struggles you had. The taxes, the insurance, you know, that's something I guess you can't avoid no matter what. Right. You have to pay tax to the state and federal government. Right on every barrel you make. Of course, you hope to sell it and make right. that money back. There's a lot of regulatory bodies that are involved, building codes and all that stuff. Do you work with an attorney? Do you have anyone that's in the business that you work with? You know, you recommend? as far as like, you know, law, Ted Zeller is the main guy, and they will help you with licensing. Okay. And they'll do all that Ted kind Zeller. of stuff. Um, Having a lawyer that can help me with the permits that I need to open my business quickly is so important. I'm used to having a team of lawyers to handle these type of tasks, but now I can't afford them. I'm going to go find a car to flip so I can make some money stat. From Fabletics, your favorite leggings are here. The reviews are in. With high-waisted, booty boosting, oh-so-soft fabric, plus game-changing pockets. In a range of eye-catching colors, cute on-trend prints, and a never-ending assortment of styles. So get ready. Wherever you're going, Fabletics has your favorite leggings. Get your first two pairs of leggings for $24, plus get 50% off everything else. Only on Fabletics.com. Kevin Bacon here. You know me from six degrees of, well, me. But it's time to expand. See, Visible is wireless with no surprise fees, legit unlimited data, powered by Verizon for as little as $25 a month. But when you bring a friend every month, you get every month for $5. So I'm bringing everyone within 12 degrees of me. Bam. 12 months of $5 wireless. Visible. As little as $25 a month or $5 a month when you bring a friend. Powered by Verizon. Wireless that gets better with friends. Imagine you love frosting and filling. I do love frosting and filling. Well, imagine if there was a way to enjoy that delicious goodness anywhere, anytime, with nothing but a thin layer of foil between you and pasta. Yes, Curtis. This is a commercial about pasta. I like pesto. Having selected what he believes is a million dollar idea, billionaire Glenn Stearns, undercover as Glenn Bryant, is building a team for his new craft beer business. I want to hold an open interview. I want to look for an experienced brewer. To raise startup funds, Glenn plans to flip a house, but first, he'll need to raise a down payment. I can't believe they're not interested in selling me a car that they're going to take the auction. <laughs> I need this car flip. You know, most people don't realize that these big dealers, when they get trade-ins with high miles, they want to just get rid of them. So this is my opportunity. I want to take them off their hands, be able to turn around and, and sell them for a healthy profit. So I was online and I saw a guy that is going out of business with his car lot. Hopefully, he's going to sell me one or two of his cars. Hey, Glenn, right? Jeremiah? Jeremiah, How you doing? yes sir, nice to meet yeah, you. Nice to meet you too. So, what happened? You just guys just finished? You're done? Yeah, this is my dad's shop actually. He's like, get rid of everything. Good. <laughs> well, maybe I can take this off your hands. We got the old 5 Honda and then the Escalade in the back. Okay, perfect. So. What's, uh, how many miles are on this thing? Only 152,000 miles, just under. What are you asking for this? This one is 1,200. My dad just wants to get rid of it, you know. Can we take it for a spin? Yeah. How does it feel? How do you like the handles and stuff? No, it feels everything? good. What I'm looking for is I want something reliable that someone else can buy and feel they got a, a good deal. Okay. At the same time, I could make some decent money on it, you know. Right. I mean, we want to try and get the best deal still, but yeah, everything has to go. 
Honda Civics have a high resale value. The fact that this is a hybrid makes it even higher. So if I could pick this car up for $500, I'm going to make so much more on my resale. I'm interested, you know. Yeah. What were you thinking? Yeah. Well, kind of, I think 500 bucks is probably a good deal for the car, actually. There's no way I can let it go for 500 Yeah, I was $600. That seems pretty fair. Thousand. Come on. <laughs> Come on, me, man. Meet me at a thousand. We can do it. Meet me at a thousand. Oh, you're killing me. How about... $700. Yeah. All right, cool. do One more thing. I want to also be able to buy your other car because I'm going to work my tail up. And I mean, I'll help you out. Basically, I'm working for you. And I look at it that way. <laughs> I like that. I like that. $700 for the Civic is a good deal. The blue book value on this car is between two and $4,000. If I'm going to hit my $10,000 goal for this week, I need to get as close to $4,000 as I can. This is the start of the big money. I am going to pretty this thing up, get it ready to sell. All right, come on now. I think you can put a new set of tires on here for me. It's working, it's working. Everything's starting to get shiny and new. It's starting to get exciting. You always find change in the cars. All right. I got to get a lot of eyeballs on this car. This looks like a good spot. It's coming. I can feel it. I can see it happening now. It looks good. Small Business Development Center. I'm holding open interviews to build out a team. One of my most important business principles is human capital. I've been successful because I've surrounded myself with people smarter than I am. But my most important criteria for hiring someone is their personality. You know, in opening a brewery, I'm going to need people with managerial skills, you know, people obviously with brewing experience, and there may even be a food component into this. The problem is, I don't have any money to pay these guys. It's all about sweat equity. That's how they're going to have a piece of this company. Hey, Chris, I'm glad. Come on back. I'm all right. Ashley. Ashley? I'm on. Nice how are you? Good. Good. We're here. Be good. All right. What's your background? Broadcast communications, actually, initially. Tell me about yourself. My specialty is custom furniture, woodworking. I've been doing that for, it's going to be 16 years now. Uh, my job was sourced overseas. Circumstantially, a local brewer here, Labry's Brewing, had lost their brewer and started learning more brewing on a much bigger scale. I've been cooking for a long while now. I have like OCD and like sometimes I get like real nervous, like the stress, do I love it? I mean, no, like I'm probably gonna die early of a heart attack or something, but do I handle it well? No, I don't, you know what I mean? Right. You been into web design or any of that? A little bit. I, I feel confident with my content creation ability. When I do an interview, I care about if somebody is going to fight hard, they're going to stay long, and they're going to believe in the company. I'm looking at their eyes. I'm seeing that they stare back at me. I'm seeing how long they blink. It's really not so much about making a whole bunch of money. Probably for the first two months, it's going to be planning. It's going to be behind the scenes, and that's going to be without pay. I'm looking for people that I hope see kind of the, the dream and, you know, look back on this and go, wow, wasn't that fun what we did, you know, what we created. I have a mortgage. I have two two sons. I got a wife. Money's kind of like a necessity. Something like this would be a great experience for me as well, and watching someone, you know, kind of build right. a business from the ground up and be kind of cool. Yeah. Well, very nice to meet you. Very nice. Yeah. Armando, he feels like a good fit. Nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. And Chris, I think he's ready to jump in with both feet. It was a great start today. Met some wonderful people. And I'm excited to see if we can't get to the next level with them, see if they'll make the team or not. So I'm on my way to go meet a guy named Chet, who is very interested in the car. I listed it for 4500 so hopefully we can get somewhere close to there. And I'm down to my last $100. So listen, I'm pulling up. Just do me a favor and hang back for me. I don't want him to think anything funny's going on. You Chet? Yes, Vlad. How you doing? Good. Saw you post Good. about this. Yeah, I know. Well, it's uh, 2005. Okay. It's got 152,000 miles on it. 
Okay. And everything is running well. You're asking 4500 Is there anything anything you can do? It retails for about 4800 So, you know, I thought 4500 was pretty fair. But, uh, you know, make me an offer. And I'll uh, see what I can do. Can you do... 3300 I think we could probably not 300 off. How about 4200 How about 3400 Uh, you know. Yeah, how about if we do 3900 and we'll just call it a day? Uh, can I do a test drive? Oh, of course. I am desperate. I need the car flip, right? I'm an animal in a corner, injured, ready to come out and fight. My heart was pounding. I've never been one that needs to shop at some fancy place. It doesn't really matter. $39 too much money. I just need a sleeping bag. I might take this. It looks like my type. This is all I need for a bed right here. It is perfect. I think I'm done. Got everything I need. Got my bedding, my pillow, plates. How much were they? 79 cents each. $1.99 for this pan slash. What is it? What's it, what's it, what's it called again? Yeah. <laughs> 32. Thank you, sir. Home sweet home. You know, I got everything I needed. I've got a nice comfy place to sleep so I can focus on built. At East, your backyard is right in our backyard. So when you need to feed your grass, remove the weeds, or wrangle those leaves, go to the best place that delivers on top brands like Ego, Toro, and Steel. No warehouse store can match the convenience of your locally owned neighborhood East. So stop on by. You can also order online for curbside pickup or get what you need delivered today. Around the block, what you need in stock with people who know their lawn care. This is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. Ten seconds left. This is John Moore Way staying in the ground. Yo, you check FanDuel lately? Sammy Wynn, live on the One out to go. Moore Way and Wynn looking to make something here. Watch over. Moore Way's throws. Wynn shoots. It's up. Moore Way's to win. Moore Way's to win. Moore Way's to win. That's what I'm telling you. There are more ways to win with FanDuel. I need the car flip, right? I'm an animal in a corner, injured, ready to come out and fight. All right. Well, that, that is a very smooth drive. Yeah, 3900 I'll definitely do it. I went at 4500 but you always have to leave enough that the other person feels that they got a deal as well. That is... That's it. I've sold merchandise on the street. I've sold tires. I've cleaned people's toilets. All to get me to the point where I can have a little breathing room. I'm on my way back now to get myself my second car. So my goal for this week is $10,000. I'm going to take the profit I made from this Honda Civic and flip it into the Escalade. So tell me about this thing here. It's going to run you $2,500. Okay. A couple things. It's an all-wheel drive car, right? So if one of these tires are bad, I've got to go replace them all. That's right. going to be 1000 bucks. I'm buying it as is. So, you know, I think we should look at something closer to 1200 1200 is a little low. Can we do 1500 Got a deal. The blue book value is anywhere from 6900 to 8800 I'm hoping to get at least $7,500 out of it. So I'm going to go put it on my lucky street corner. Cross my fingers. If I can get this sold, I'm going to make my 10000 for the week. headed out to meet the people that have made the first cut to be team members. Uh, we're going to do a bar crawl today. I'll learn who kind of stands out, maybe as a leader. Since I don't know the area well, this is my chance to get feedback from locals on the idea. 
and how to make this brewery stand out here in Erie. And I've got to keep reminding myself, it's not only that I'm evaluating them, but they're probably evaluating me just as hard. Instill confidence. If your team doesn't believe in you, you're going nowhere. So part of running a successful business is to make sure your team believes in the vision as much as you do. Hey, there they are. How you doing? How you doing? I also invited RJ. RJ. Nice to meet you. Me go from Lisa. Lisa. RJ and Chris. When I was working with RJ last week, I told him that I wanted to start a business here in Erie. And he agreed to come down, meet everybody, and learn about it. He's someone I really want on the team. Good to see you. Yeah, you too. And I asked Matt Sanders to join us. Matt reached out after the open interviews, and he has a background in liquor distribution, so he could be a great asset to the team. Sure. Hey, here's to the future. Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. The older you get, you get more conservative because you're going, I don't want to start over again. Well, I thought, F- it, I'm going to start over again. I mean, why not? I don't know what's going to happen, but I don't want the nine to five job right now. You have a, a dream and a vision, and you go for it. I wanted to do a brew house, but. Also brand it and get it bigger so it can go statewide and then see if it can go bigger than that. And I, I tell you, I really couldn't think of a better place than Erie. Even in the short amount of time that I've been here, I love Erie. All right, let's move to the next one. So I think the most important thing that we can do is make this brewery about the local underdogs, the hardworking people of Erie. One concern I have is, okay, so this guy not from Erie wants to come to Erie, start a brewery, who knows nothing about brewery. Kind of wondering if someone is going to be like, well, wait a second. You take from your market share. Yeah. But we're like, you know, this is our town and yeah. we want to make it work. So I think that's already got a huge advantage. Yeah, that's true. You know, you, you could have brought in a bunch of outside consultants. Like, yeah. that, right. that wouldn't have worked. Most of the time when somebody says, you know, I should start this business, blah, 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 and it never goes any farther. And here Glenn is at 55, and he's like, no, we're going to do this. you got to have respect for that, and I would love to be a part of that because that's awesome. Thank you all. Appreciate everything. It's great hearing from the team, and I love their enthusiasm. And they sound invested, and I think they see the vision, and that's important. This is going to belong to them. Time is not on my side. I will need to find a recipe, brew my beer, work on permitting, find a location, and open it. I need to start moving on this now. So I reached out to the lawyer today that Brian Sprague recommended, Ted Zeller. He's going to give me some advice on how to open a brewery. But before he talked to me, he needs a $1,000 retainer. $1,000 out of my pocket right now is very hard, but you know I need the advice. Ted, is that you? Me. All right. I understand you might be trying to get into the brewery restaurant world. I am. Could you start me out from kind of zero and, and explain to me what I'm going to need to do? So before you can apply for a state or federal permit, you need to have your site. Yeah, because I don't have the lease. If you do not attach your lease with your federal app, they won't allow you to file it. And then how long does that take to get? State license takes take 60 to 75 days if you're lucky. Um, the federal, you know, back in December, we had something paid, called right? government shutdown, right. right? So processing times went from 40 days to over 100 days. You cannot operate your brewery permit from the state without your federal license as well. That's a problem. <laughs> but there's just no way you can brew your own beer under your own brewery permit for at least 90 days. There's no way. No way. No way. All right, All right. well, again. Keep your chin up. Keep your chin up. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. I am so screwed.